The pandemic is in a different phase. COVID has obviously not disappeared. It's just a technical question to say when the pandemic is over, but it is not affecting our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And we need to treat it the way we treat influenza and other infectious diseases. Compared to influenza though, COVID is still about 10 times worse in terms of the morbidity and mortality that it causes. Well, it's dramatically different. And the original vaccine has been retired with the exception of people who never received their primary doses. And the only booster available now made by both Pfizer and Moderna contains two different viruses. One, the same virus that was in the original vaccine, but a second virus that is active against B4 and 5, which are the current variants that have been circulating. Everyone is eligible who's over the age of 12. Between 12 and 18, the Pfizer is the only one being used. Over 18, both Pfizer and Moderna are now approved. And they are to be given as a booster to anybody who is at least two months out from their last booster. And generally, people wait two to three months after they've recovered from a bout of COVID. But everybody else is eligible. Immunosuppressed patients, young people, elderly people, and the like. they seem to be almost exactly as the old vaccine. And that's because it's the exact same platform. It's made with the same technology. Its safety should be the same. And they are arm pain, malaise, lack of energy, fever in about 10 or 15%, uh, muscle pain, headache. It almost always goes away within 24 hours. And occasionally it takes 48 hours. Yes, as it has been said many times, and they will be given in separate arms, but it is safe. In terms of side effects, there's about a 10% increase in arm pain and malaise when you get both of them together compared to getting them separately. So there is a slight increase in, in reaction, but it's not dramatic. That's a great question, and no one really knows the answer. My own personal bias on that is that you probably should get it now because it does take a couple of weeks to make a response to that vaccine when it's given, and you never know when there's gonna be a surge in the fall or in the winter. 